Hello and welcome back and today we're continuing our look at mobile applications and today we want to talk about music. We want to compare the DS Audio application from Synology against the Q Music application from QNAP. We've overviewed them both individually, let's compare them. So once again the QNAP application does use a very similar framework to what we've seen from their other applications like QPhoto, QManager, QPhoto. Um, file and more. Um, but I will go as far as to say that I unfortunately I am going to tell you that the music application on the QNAP is damn good. Um, the one on Synology, I was so disappointed to say this because the DS Audio application from Synology is good. It is a good app. Um, however, I expected more from Synology on this one. Don't get me wrong, their moments and their drive applications have been brilliant, but QMusic from QNAP they just really found the sweet spot this time compared with their other applications. Till now, the QNAP app, uh, apps for mobile, iOS and Android, um, they have been a, a lot more analytical than they are user-friendly and chewable and colourful. And things really change with QMusic. With Synology in their DS Audio application, it really feels like they phoned it in a bit. It's very basic. Don't get me wrong, just looking at it there, you've got, the, the you know the the album covers that you've got from your own CDs you've got the list of composers artists and genres and stuff but QNAP the options are sweet as you've got transcoding you've got music shaker you've got the sleep mode that lets you the device turn itself off the mobile app I should say and the the way it's made so well for um, a mobile device really puts a lot more faith in the QNAP um, mobile um, app market. Uh, from them for iOS and Android. Now the Synology app, although it had uh, the artist, composer, genre, and the breakdown and you know shuffle and kind of music playback, nice and straightforward and easy. I don't know about you, but when I one of the reasons I bought a NAS is I want uh, my files under my control, even there with the admin panel. Um, remind me to talk to you later on about radio though, because radio was the one saving grace from that DS Audio app. It's a good app and it runs. But there's just nothing particularly spectacular about it. There's the stuff about radio we'll talk about later on. But moving over to the QNAP application, it's just a much funner app. Not only because the, the abilities, like the, the main screen there with random song and random list and stuff like that, which gives you the ability to add um, certain features and functionality, but also the fact that straight away at any time you can cast your music to a network device. The search functionality there is top notch. But you can send it to a DLNA media device. Now, this, uh, the Synology app does do that. If you look at the top left where it says Nexus 5X. But there's still no denying that you had to go a couple of extra rungs to do that. And it didn't find everything on the network. All it found was the Kogi source. Whereas my phone managed to find a TV that was on the network. It managed to find a Kodi box and more. Now, the, although I, a lot of people are probably going to quite like the understated nature of the Synology app there, the QNAP one, well, that's a bit white fantastic and you can change that. HDMI output 1, 2, audio, device not found, blue. It can stream over Bluetooth if you've got a dongle. It does all of that. And if you've got a NAS with a speaker on it or an HDMI output a multimedia device, you can send this music to those devices. Something sadly lacking on that Synology app that only managed to find a Kogi um, application uh, on the, on a QNAP NAS nearby. Uh, now, the Synology uh, settings, uh, background listings, and metadata retrieval is definitely better. The way it sequenced the artist, the way you could list it in a multitude of different ways, not just, um, app, uh, you know, file name, track name. It managed to do it in date modification mode. It had lots more settings rather than just recently added. The Synology app, although it did support transcoding as you can see, the transcoding format was only WAV and MP3 and it didn't let you play music videos either. Um, maybe you don't want to do it. The QNAP app, you could get right into the folder structure of the NAS if you wanted to. You didn't have to rely on just a scan of uh, the NAS to give you the music that's there. And then so many of you out there, surely you know what I mean, with um, music players, particularly for Android. Uh, I don't know about you, but Double Twist I recommend because it lets you go to a folder level, but most music players will not let you just browse on a folder by folder level. They'll only do playlist, artist, and whatever it can scan. Um, but the, the QNAP application 
is the better of the two. I don't, I'm not saying QNAP is better than Synology or vice versa. What I'm saying is this app handles music way better than the Synology one. Now, one thing the Synology one does have, uh, we'll talk about later on, is radio, uh, internet radio support. Now, QNAP tell me that this is possible on their app, but didn't really explain how. And if it's not going to jump out at you straight away, I'm not going to stick it in the review because I think it's a little bit mean to ask people to go through the, you know, go through the rigors of adding something, uh, a QNAP, I should say, that Synology just give you straight off the bat. Now, both of them have got the standard help and feedback and contact and support and beep my NAS sort of stuff. But for the most part, it is worth saying that the QNAP application is just better. Um, I do find I was listening to music on a Bluetooth headset and I could choose whether I wanted the music to come through the headset or uh, from the phone itself. Going back to the Synology app, there's our radio. Now, the ability to access internet radio stations is pretty handy. Don't get me wrong, that's more dedicated to the app than it is to the NAS and therefore there's lots of apps out there where you can browse internet radio. This doesn't let you download the music onto the NAS. It doesn't let you do any stuff like that. What it does let you do is just listen to, inter listen to internet radio. And again, that's just something the app gives you, not the NAS. And I don't think I should give Synology that much kudos for something that most apps can do without it. The QNAP app here playing some music. I'm able to download the track, obviously. I can add it to different playlists while I'm listening. Synology does that, of course, but not to the same degree. Look at those lovely options from QNAP. I'm a techie. I'm going to like a lot more fiddly options. Um, the Synology, it's not even that it doesn't have those options. It doesn't seem to have the facility to even accommodate them in their infrastructure. I, In most cases, I prefer the Synology applications in all of these overviews. But in terms of audio, I do think Synology have really dropped the ball on this app and QNAP have really run with this. But nevertheless, this has been a comparison of the music apps from Synology and QNAP. If you need really user-friendly infrastructure and you just want to listen to tunes and not fiddle around, go for DS Audio and therefore Synology. If you want to learn more about uh, the application, you want to learn more about the songs you listen to, go for Q Music. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.